the honors program, and I'm going to start at the beginning. We, we have a few hours, don't we? <laughs> uh, I'll start at the beginning. And I, I think we have a, a, a long and rich history that we could be really proud of, dating back to the foundation of the Summerfield Scholars Program in, in 1929. But what I found here and what we continue to provide for our students is the challenge, the support, and the community of a small, elite, liberal arts college nestled within all of the opportunities and the experiences that you can only find at a major, world-class research institution. We have 1,600 students. They're from 43 states, from 17 different countries, and they're pursuing 123 different majors at KU. Not each one of them individually, but collectively as, as a group. When I applied to study abroad over the summer, it was a really difficult decision at first because I didn't want it to be the one thing I got to do in college. But an Honors Opportunity Award allowed me to know that I could do that program because it covered more than half of the cost and then be able to still go on and do, for example, eight months in D.C. later on and an alternative break and several other opportunities that I was so fortunate to be able to do because of the funding from the Honors Program. So, yes, summer after freshman year I went to Costa Rica. It was absolutely incredible. I was there for two months. I was in a class with international students, so I got to meet people from all over the world who were also there to study Spanish. I thought about my art as something that just had to be a hobby. I thought my brother's hearing loss was something that was out of my hands. I thought that astrology and astronomy were synonyms. <laughs> Until my honors mentors pushed me to explore other areas, I was dead wrong about all the things that have become my greatest passions today. Honors has repeatedly pushed me to achieve amazing things, not to prove to anyone else that I can, but to prove to myself that it's worthwhile. Through experiences and conversations with honors faculty and the students on the Costa Rica trip, I was challenged and encouraged to evaluate my goals in life. I believe that without the university honors program in my life, I would have lost sight of why I do the hard things it takes to become a doctor and gotten caught up in how hard they were. The people of the honors program have shown me that the most fulfilling things in life are those that are hard to reach. So in the words of the honors motto, sic itur ad astra, thus I journey to the stars.